Thank you so much, you guys. Keep staying here, listening to us. Uh, what we really want to do is pay uh, homage to our our loved ones, the ones that we lost, unfortunately, at Paul's Gay Bar in Orlando, Florida. Um, 49 people we lost and 53 were injured. So what we want to do right now is pay a few minutes, quiet, pay homage to them. Just a little bit, silent. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, here we are. We still have all my boys with me, all my babes with me, and we keep go, keep go, keep go. Yes, boys, yes. Always hard. It's Joel and Randy's okay. Texas Tea. I'm Joel Tatum. I got sitting on the side of me, Miss Randy. How you doing, Miss Randy? You know what? I'm good as hell. I have to <laughs> say, you know what? It's a good day. It is a good day? To be alive mm-hmm. and thrive and... Mm, be unemployed and love it. Mm, I got our <laughs> guest host, our backup, 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 backup guest host. Because I have to explain this. First, it was Charles who was our backup host. Mm-hmm. Then it was Chris who was our backup host. And now they are the face of the show. Now they are part of the show. But we have our backup, 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 backup host, Miss Singapore Rose. Rogue. Oh, oh my god, Singapore. I was like, Singapore how many ba- Rogue. How like, you I'm, doing, girl? I'm doing good, baby. I was like, oh my god, how much back do I have? Mm-hmm. I've never, and <laughs> I got, got back. back. And I've never mm-hmm. ever seen a woman with legs like this woman has because, girl, mm-hmm. it's all legs and no cellulite. Mm-hmm. Then we got straight guy in the house, Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick's also. Will be our backup musical guy. What's going on, Nick? Say hello, oh, man, Nick. You know, uh, life in the big city. Life in the big city. Hello, hello. Yay. Yeah, this, this I'm sorry. Is I don't moment. know if that caught in the microphone. Yeah, no, you're good. You're yeah. good. Yeah, this is life, life in the big city. Life indeed. in the big city. is. A, and he's a really good, wonderful guitar player. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. And then we have our other, other wonderful, very well-heeled, you should see his heels. They look like <laughs> tennis shoes. <laughs> Miss Pinky is in the house. Woo! Out go! I'm the tribe healer, y'all. You're the mm. tribe healer. Making me jealous <laughs> all day long. It, it, it's very rare that I get a woman in the room. I'm the making Who is come. actually jealous of the gay man in the room when it comes to the heel situation. A real woman is so... Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh, seriously. Mm-hmm. I cannot wear heels to save my life. Mm-hmm. I cannot. I wear flats all day. I wear boots and flats, and that's it. But let me tell you, mm-hmm. watching this gorgeousness, mm-hmm. pinky, strutting around, I, mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I've never been more jealous. Never been yeah. more jealous. You know, you know the beautiful... I'm jealous of his hair. Here's an amazing fact. You should be jealous. Ju- Here's like an amazing fact. If you see Miss Pinky walking down the, in anywhere with his heels on, don't approach him because that bitch got a knife on the side of him that will cut you. <laughs> Goddamn right. You right. will get cut. Don't so approach him the right way and say, I love your heels, and then move on. Anything exactly. else? Yeah, Ben, gonna get cut. Right. You're gonna get prison shanked cut. Well, so do not do that. Come and speaking of speaking of cut. Come correct. Speaking of cut, I'd like to cut two. The the Pride celebration this year. Houston Pride, y'all. Houston Pride. June 22nd. Bitches, I'm mad. I'm mad. I Pride has always been the last Saturday of the month for the last five years. You bitches moved it to the 22nd. <laughs> this what the hell? Man. What this the hell? Man. Let it out. We had Let actually planned on being at Pride, but... I, I, but excuse me, shit disrupted, got messed disrupted. up. Disrupted, bitch was disrupted. Shit got messed up. I literally found out online today that it was on the twenty second. I planned my work schedule around the twenty eighth. I have a theory about that, and oh, I want to oh, hear. I want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear that theory. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's Let's hear hear it. it there are a lot of rumors and whatnot sur- surrounding the the over uh, commercialization of pride. Well, everyone knows, if you work in the service industry, mm-hmm. the last weekend of the month, well, that payday is rent check. 
Mm-hmm. So if you move it back a week, people have more money to spend. That actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. I, I'm angry I about it because I already I heard already, about it. I had planned so. this for <laughs> two and a half months that it would be the last Saturday of the month. I've already planned all this, everything else. And then I look and see today, literally while riding Houston Metro. Wait, it's a 22nd. I'm working a goddamn double that day. That I can't even sucks. get out of that shift. Hopefully, I'll be working a double that day. Okay, first of all, <laughs> first of Bitch, all, I love you for, you for, that. for those of you who listen to that. the show, I am now going to put it on Miss Pinky's shoulders to report everything from Pride that yes. day because I know that she will be there. So you no, she said she wants double dicks that you'd day. Probably, yes. You'd probably be better off putting it on my knees. Put it on your knees. Oh, that would hurt. My shoulders. Let me let me tell you how I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put this on your knees, your back, your pussy, and your crack. So you're gonna have to put all this. Isn't it? So you're threatening me with a good time, mm -hmm. right? The crack is sound good uh, to me. mm -hmm. That'll do some collecting for Mm -hmm. sure. Oh, you know what? Specimens. Mm -hmm. This is just too big for me because I don't usually hear this kind of conversation. Because guess what? Guess what, audience? Guess what, audience? I, a week behind it. A week behind until this it. show starts making money, I got to work for a living. I got to pay the bills. I got to pay the rent. I got to pay the light bill. All kinds. I got to pay my telephone bills and all Can't and my automobile bills. Bills. Yeah, right. Sorry, and all this other. No, this that's Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. To, every, to everybody in the Beehive. To everybody in the Beehive. I'm I'm referencing some old Beyonce, and I'm talking about old Beyonce when she was it's with the girl group. That was gonna say I was. It's not Beyonce. That's the Destiny's Child. You know what? Child. I'm gonna do something. Y'all shut up because I'm gonna do something. Ooh, I thought it was oh, out of oh, respect, oh, out of respect oh. for Ray Charles, I'm gonna bring up an old song. I almost sang it too. Oh shit! She got steak. <laughs> Fuck! That's not the lyrics. <laughs> Damn right. shake! No. <laughs> Oh, you, you, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry, Maloney. bitch. You, you had me at steak. You put the yeah, you put the down, steak. You put the steak like, on the oh, table. Where are the condom? Yeah. Where are the condiments got, going? Oh, okay, here, here it is. The lyrics are: She got steak, macaroni. I got bologna and cheese. She don't care anymore since she's divorced me. What? That's what? That's old Go. school. I, I thought I thought he said Deep. bologna pony. <laughs> Bologna and Girl, Mac. Bologna and this one she your head head head. Is, mm. Poor Ray <coughs> Charles. You know, he was blind. Mm-hmm. Bologna, a lot of people were blind. You should have seen his wife. Still. He was definitely blind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like... Ooh, no, we didn't. Too soon? No, not too soon. Okay. No, not too Ray soon. Answer. The man's been dead for almost 40 years. No, he has not been dead I'm, for 40 years. Huh? Maybe not 40 Who? years. Not 40 years, Ray bitch. Charles? No. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? He has not been there 40 years. It's not only, even 20. I said almost. 20. Not even 20. 15 or 10. 10 or 15 years, girl. Right. 10 or you know what? I think Did you not, not see the Jamie Foxx? I, I think you're thinking you of Charles see, Ray. I think that's what you're thinking of. That might be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or that last... <laughs> The, or that last queen that you had. Y'all are worried me. Y'all should have been thinking about Charles Ray. It's not been 40 years. Like it's not been 40 yeah. years. Yeah. But mm-hmm. You know what? Charles Ray. Show it. Mm-hmm. It hasn't been 40 years. It has not been 40 years. He's Moving on. Houston Pride is coming up. And we are about to celebrate and have a good time. Good time. And I'm going to apparently collect confetti for... All four of us. I guess so. And I'm going to stay my black ass I'm at home. In my in, well, no, you you said, you said, you said, I don't like it. I can't be hot. You said that you're going to collect confetti for all yeah. four, but there's five of us here. So you know, I love, you the, I love the fact that there are not. I love the fact that there are 19 people talking at this table right now. Y'all all need to get it together. One at a time, bitches. I have split personality. Where, 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 no, where is the talking stick? No, this is not a talking stick kind of moment. This is this a is. four, five people sitting at a table. Let's have a Wrong conversation. Really Everybody ready right. to have a conversation? All right. Let's Everybody do it. ready to have let's fun? Let's do it. Then let's have a conversation. Let's talk about Houston Pride. 
Let's talk about how we really feel about Houston Pride. Tell us how you really feel. Let's talk about how we really feel. <laughs> there are some of us, there are some of us of the old school who would, who miss the idea of it being back in Montrose. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I, think, I, think, I think old school and new school. I yeah. mean, even middle, like middle school. Middle school. That's like a, a weird way <laughs> to say it. Middle school. And let me tell you something. It. My location right now where it, don't look me up and do not come to my house. My location, I live in the Montrose. I'm already And I've here. lived in the Montrose for nearly 25 years. And the best thing about Houston Pride, gay pride, was the fact that I used to be able to walk outside my house. I used to be able to tell my friends, are you coming to Pride? Park your car at my apartment. Mm-hmm. Let's that's, all have some cocktails. Let's, have, let's have cocktails and a little barbecue. Mm-hmm. And then we'll walk down and watch the parade. And then yeah. we'll head out to the bars and do that thing. Nick it's, used to because have it that. used to be away from that. Wait, Nick now wants to have like that. that mm-hmm. Nick wants to say something about it. Well, mm-hmm. No, I'm just agreeing with mm-hmm. that. Basically, I mean, it's gotten away from that. Mm-hmm. Now, now it's 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 downtown. Everything's concrete and you know commercialism. You know, it's like oh, we can, we are hungry. Well, we can't go to the next person over who's barbecuing. We yeah. have to go to the subway. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, also, so, for, for me, it's, it's definitely 50-50. Mm-hmm. I love it in Montrose because I always live in Montrose when mm-hmm. I live here in the States. And I love, like I said, I live right here, Yupon, Westheimer. Mm-hmm. Boom, I can just walk out of my door and everything's right there. Mm-hmm. But what I love is that when they, I love the idea. I don't like the practice of what they did. Mm-hmm. Moving it downtown because yeah. it normalizes it. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we have conversation before that, yeah. like, you know, you feel like outside, outside. You throw that shit downtown. Shit, we're perfect. Like everything together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything the same. But yeah, they don't take care. They don't take care. The city, mm-hmm. the, the city doesn't take. The um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it, the city doesn't take care as mm-hmm. well. It's like, um, uh, how the, how the shit do you run out of water? How do you run out of beer? Are you mm-hmm. crazy at Buzz Fest? You don't that that shit don't happen. No, mm. if, if I if I want to go vendors, see vendors if I want to go there. see Papa Roach and Lincoln Park, I don't run out of water. Like independent I... vendors are a whole other aspect of that because when it was on the streets, as opposed to like more commercialized in downtown streets no, uh, next to buildings, <laughs> there was all sorts of like vendors whether they had licenses or not. They were still giving out like free water bottles all the time and everything, and people weren't getting dehydrated and stuff, you know. And now it's become like an event where it's like you got to pay like six dollars to get a freaking bottle of water. There's still organizations. Well, that give wait a minute. Let me say something. You kids and I love y'all. And y'all are young. No, 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 wait, years, wait, 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 wait. No, wait, 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 kids, wait, wait, wait. Let him kids, talk. Let him talk. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm saying you kids don't understand. Back in the day, you could carry coolers of booze and water, and it was on. Uh, that was the same we should on Westheimer. Back in the good old days, you could bring every. It was BYOB, and everybody could drink on the streets for that was one that? day. What, for what that one day. This was like six years ago. We're no, it years. wasn't six years ago. Yes, it was. Six yes, years it ago. was. No, like yes, it six was. Six years before. When, right moved, before when it moved it, downtown. When it moved it, downtown, by the way, oh, when it moved street. downtown. Yeah, you could have done that. Literally. Six years ago. When it moved because downtown. When I did it. When I did it, I was 16. Gay marriage had been the, the law of the land because the Supreme Court said it. Right then and there, that's when we had our first gay pride downtown. So it was like a thing. It was like no, so not really. Yes. Yes. No, I'm talking about. we progressive But I'm not city, talking about right? downtown. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the original on Westheimer. Yes, but the original on mm-hmm. Westheimer. Yeah, you walk when I was a little like kid. Mm-hmm. When I was a little kid, you could go there. How old? Sixteen. Okay, no, I'm just Sit getting a frame of reference for like when you mean little. Yeah. Anyway, so you never ask a queen their age. No, I was just wondering how old he was then, not now. I'm just wondering. <laughs> anyway, I say, anyway, you know, honestly, like you know, in Montreux, anyway, that's when, what I'm saying. When it was you in Montreux, bring your own, you when the bring parade your own was liquor. there. Yeah, you could bring your you own liquor just bring, and like everything. That. I was selling jello shots Drink on, on the, the side of the road. Yeah. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Everything was fine. Mm-hmm. But now, downtown, everything has to be like this. Yeah. This A, B, yeah. C, D, like chop. Mm-hmm. 
it's not good like that. Mm-hmm. One of the things, I mean, I mean, having that parade in itself is it's a it, 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 it's an act of freedom. Mm-hmm. It's an act exactly. of like, do exactly. I'm doing this? I'm do this? I'm like this? It's okay, no problem. And in mantras, you are you have the ability to do like that. Now you go downtown, you do like that. And I did like it because it's downtown because it's like I I think in my head it's like New York or LA like. Mm-hmm. You you normalize being mm-hmm. gay, but at the same time, now city mm-hmm. have to sanction. They have to do like they put you in a box. Still, yeah, it rather it better be in Montrose. Yeah, it's more so thousand million better be in Montrose. Here's the thing, and I I want to continue this discussion on okay. all forms of this table. I love the idea of the nostalgia part of this. But reality says yeah. that we can no longer do it it's in Montreal. It's done in Montreal. So we need hold. to be. We need. We need to. We need to say this because I know that Charles has a lot to say when it comes to Houston Pride and everything else. So before we, I let Charles say what he has to say, and Charles is going to say it. Oh, the fact of the matter is, is that <laughs> we I see, need I see to his live. Feet butt wiggling. I'm. I'm. I'm ready. We need to live in the reality of the fact that this. <laughs> This Pride Parade is now the fourth largest parade in the country. And we're mm-hmm. the third largest city. We and we're the third largest surpre- city. Chicago. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. exactly. We're right. about to surpass Chicago in population. But the mm-hmm. fact of the matter is, is that it is now the fourth it largest diverse. parade in the country. And the fact of the matter is, is that doing it in Montrose, as much as I love Montrose, and I, I do love Montrose, Montrose can't, can't handle, handle it yes, anymore. They can't handle it anymore. All right. right. Well, so, also, I, mean, let's, I agree. So, I have two I agree. devil's let's advocate, hear Charles. I have mm-hmm. two devil's advocates questions. And then, well, okay. So I'll, ask those, I'll ask those at the end up. of it. And I'll, I'll say this. Uh, I'll say, mission accomplished. You know, I understand it not having the same bohemian, earthy, gritty, you know, this is who the fuck we are. You're going to fucking deal with us. That that had, but I mean, this is what we wanted. We wanted to not be obscurities. We wanted not to be left out. We wanted to be inclusive, a part of the Houston community. And now we have Houston standing behind us. And I I don't think there's much. I think it's very. Um, you want to keep talking here. It's it's very. <laughs> It's very counterproductive to to kind of naysay it's the, the, the moving like forward it. of that. But I'll, I and these are the two questions I have: sure. the protection level that existed when it was in Montrose and all those years ago. Were the police advocates? Were they protectors? Was there anyone checking them to make sure they were? That's one question. And my oh. second question. Is yes, you could question. get jello shots on the, on the street, and you could get barbecue, and you could get free water. But could you also get pulled behind a pickup truck for being gay at that time? Okay, I think this is what it comes down to. I think that in Montrose versus downtown, when it comes in regards to what you were just saying, and I think the people who work the hey Nick, I need street, you to do something for me. Speak into the mic. The people who work the beats on the streets who are used to that, who have done it for 10, 15 years, they've seen all the Pride Parade come through. They've seen the West Timer Street Festival, which is not even around anymore, but mm-hmm. it was, uh, you know, like very provocative. It mm-hmm. had a lot to offer that was very similar to what we're talking about right now. Um, you know, that stuff is, you know, it's not dead and gone, but it's not happening in the same area in which we're talking about right now. Is happening in downtown, um, so that's the the thing. Like, is it as legitimate as it was there as it is now in downtown? And that's like what we're getting down to. Like, bottom line here. I think that that is it, it is in a, it's an extremely transitional period because when you put something in downtown, that's that makes you part of. Everything. Yeah, ex- exactly. It everything. makes you part of the, the culture of you, Houston the, now. That makes it you, makes you a part Houston, of exactly. So mm-hmm. you're not it makes it Houston pride. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. But also you have that you have that nostalgia. Of like I know where my neighborhood is. Mm-hmm. I know where I live. I know this. Mm-hmm. This is where 
this grassroots shit start like that right mm. here in Montrose. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, 50 50. Going downtown, now we're a part of everything. So we're not different from mm -hmm. them anymore. We are part of that. We're not something hide anymore. Mm -hmm. We're not something be shame. We're not something be scared mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. We're right there in your face. But do I think they should start in Montrose and go downtown? Yes. Well, here's the thing. Um, let's 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 talk about that a little bit. Sure. The thing is the fact that Chris uh I'm sorry, Chris. Chris, Stop we miss you me. and you're not on the show. And we you're miss you, we, Chris. we we miss you, Chris. You're not on and the show. And and you you're me. in Tahoe visiting your parents and that's what you're doing. But the thing is is that is that should we give way to nostalgia and start to look at the realistic idea of the fact that if we're going to have this, we have it has become a bigger venue now. Yeah. yeah. We have become more popular now. And it's that's a all, good thing. It, that's a good thing. Yeah. That is a good thing. But there's, but there's still, but there's home, still, which is mantras. We but there's, yes, but there's it. still a level of nostalgia yeah. with the idea mm -hmm. of wanting to have a community which by the way no longer exists Montrose is no is no longer the same as it used to be yeah Montrose yeah. used to be about artists and people it's living in the neighborhood it's living it's in cheap apartments it's not, it's a not very true. big diverse gay neighborhood and now it's so gentrified it's ridiculous well at yeah. the same time if you think about it like that mm -hmm. if you think about I it like agree. that mm -hmm. think about so this was a gay neighborhood right Montrose, not necessarily, no. Uh, yeah, like no, said, Montrose yeah, was a gay neighborhood. Me, embraced me, all me. sorts. Of, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and so, years ago, yeah, uh, Montrose was a gay neighborhood. Well, yeah, well, Montrose was, was a gay neighborhood, right? That's where the but, generational but, gap comes It was in. just predominantly yeah. gay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is, is that maybe if you think a little bit that gay people, they're coming out. And they're living in suburbs, they're yes. living in height, they're living in A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. they're living in East End, they're living here and that. So why have to have gay neighborhood? Don't have to have no. like mm -hmm. that anymore. Because yeah. fuck, it's, it's just like being left-handed, right-handed. We're all together. Mm -hmm. Same shit. Yeah. So you don't have to have this neighborhood, yeah. that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have. Yeah. No, I agree. You don't for, need I mean, it for anymore. And no, I agree. I agree. You, you don't have to have like that. But there are certain there are certain aspects and of the community. And that goes nationwide too. I'm yeah, sorry. that's I'm so sorry, but like it's happening because like this should be applicable. Mm -hmm. Like that goes nationwide. Is like we're speaking in Houston terms mm -hmm. here for people who don't know what Montrose is. But yeah, that goes nationwide. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it shouldn't be mm -hmm. secluded to one certain neighborhood. You know, but in doing so, are we also losing a little bit of history? Yes. When we do Million that, thousand, yes. because yeah. now that gays do not have to live in a certain neighborhood anymore, now that we've evolved and are able to be part of, we can have kids, we can get married, we can do all this stuff. Have we lost a certain sense of who we are? A million because thousand, now yes. we don't have to live in Montrose anymore. Now no, we can live true. everywhere. But is that whose responsibility is but it? But is that a good to thing? To make sure or that bad generation thing? is remembered. Mm -hmm. There's like no, that's what we have to think about. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, exactly. So now we have to really come to terms with Why? the idea of there's because no wrong an answer. Where you live right. is where you Why live. Why does it have to be wrong or right? Exactly. No, exactly. Good or bad. There's, there's, no, there's only up, down, left, right. There's no right, wrong. Well, well, in my opinion. But well, for other people there is. Well no, for we those want to be invisible. For the for those who are purists in this neighborhood, and there are a lot of purists who are like, wait, but we don't have our neighborhood anymore. We're not a gay community anymore. They feel lonely. They feel that alone. That because Houston Pride has become they Houston Pride and not Pride and not Houston. gay it Pride. Be Pride. Yes, Houston. Not have Houston. we taken the purist idea Pride, away from that? And is yeah. that a bad thing? It is pride. I, I don't know. I, no, it's not. It's gay pride. It's no, but it's pride, Houston, it's not pride Houston action. pride. But isn't that what <laughs> gays have fought for for God knows how long to be just invisible? To be now undiscernible we're from other people. But here's Wait, the thing. What? Here's the thing. We not be the, the nail that gets hammered. No. 
should gay we... pride should be gay pride mm-hmm. when we needed it. No, we need it always. Why? Because I hate people. I, I would say to... it's a necessity. No, it is a necessity um, because we have to separate ourselves in a certain manner because the truth is we are different. No, and we're not. Why are we different? Because we have sex with different people? So we're different? You know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. We have tried so hard to get the society to not to hammer us for being to obscurities, us. to not be. But it's about. And now we've gotten it. More than that. So no, it's not. Basically, put the fight but is. We're not getting special treatment in a So negative you're way, saying so that we shouldn't have gay way? bride parades at all? I didn't. No. I didn't remotely say that. I said, sounds I said, like getting to a point in society where it's not necessary needed anymore, where it's not a necessity, where we don't feel like we have to, to signify that and we can have that celebration and not be gays being bitchy and shitty to straight people for participating. Because there are gays who are shitty to straight people well, who want to not, partake we're and not show those their support. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I'm going to 86 everybody right now. No, 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 no. Wait. There are. I'm going to 86 everybody right now. It doesn't matter what between your leg and the thing, this, this, this skin, whatever. So we're all just saying. So if you if you're true. shitty, you're shitty. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Whatever your flavor you like, that's different. Exactly. But shitty is shitty. But I, mean, I understand yeah. what you're when saying. You get one view no, I get what you're saying. But we can't forget the struggle. To the other one. Gay pride is about the struggle that gay that men we no went through. Endure. No, but we're celebrating the fact that we don't have to struggle anymore. But you want to struggle still. No. Or you want special treatment. Who wants to struggle? Exactly. No. Exactly. No. Remembrance we're, is the that's, importance there. That's what we're doing. No. I, and I, I agree with it 100%. We're not struggling now. And we're blessed. We're still struggling. We still have a long way to go. You had to pick a side. Because I, you just said we're not struggling. And then you said we are no, struggling. No, I said the community is accepting us. No, no, no. The, the what community? Houston. That's why we have Houston. pride in Houston now. No. You had to pick a side. Because you but just what said what? we're not struggling anymore. And then are we? now we're struggling. Are we? Are we struggling? Are we? You and me, as gay men, do we struggle? Can we walk down the street? Do we have any kind of worry that somebody's yes. going to give us shit? We're not struggling. Exactly. How, but, but there are people in our community who are di- still. Oh my God. You I'm are not pick walking on both the sides. LGBT. You're no. walking on both I'm sides of the street. I'm walking on the LGBTQ side of the street. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You keep saying we're not struggling, but we're struggling. I don't know. You and me as gay people, but there are still LGBTQ individuals who are struggling. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I that's shitty. No, what I'm saying is, I'm saying my problem is with what you're saying, and and that. We're not struggling, but we're struggling. And okay. I don't get where you're coming uh, I'll from. I'll say it again, and I'll try to break it down. We, as a, a, a one specific... Market. At, right, market or part of... We are sect. We are the L... We are the G in the LGBT, right? We're gay. There's lesbian, gay, trans, LGBTQ, queer... Mm. Community, right? You you are LGBTQ community, yes? Yeah. Okay. Are we as gay men, do we struggle? I suppose it depends are on we, are we mar- who you are. Are we more accepted than where, we are unaccepted? Where you are. Houston, I, we're talking about Houston. We're, we're talking about Houston Pride. Are you as a gay man in Houston more accepted than you are not accepted? I'm accepted. Are there portions of that LGBTQ that are not? Oh, certainly. So then we are not struggling, you and I, as gay men, 
But you our community was struggling. I know, but our community, as LGBTQ community, has not all made it to the finish line yet. So we are struggling, and to to leave them behind I didn't is leaving. Say them behind. we weren't struggling. I, I'm, I'm just confused. I'm just, I'm just explaining my viewpoint. You and I, as gay males, no, we are not struggling mm. anymore. We are accepted. Mm. There are still people who are part of our community. Who can are. I can I ask a quick question? When Absolutely. You're, when you're no, talking no, no. about it's, your community, five of us so are the you guys have both already said that neither one of you struggle, right? No, neither one I, of us are struggling. I, and what do you right? mean? By that? I, I will say the, 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 no, no, no. I, I, I will say that uh, all I'm doing. Wait, on the whole, me. I am more accepted than yeah. I am not accepted. Let okay, me finish what I'm saying. Let it, let let her. So both of you say like that, except everything good, right? Good. No, I mean, it's but, no, 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 said no, like I'm, that I'm saying, for not, a reason. I'm not talking about community, anything. <laughs> you, you, everybody, good, right? Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Now what about your community? What are you going to, what would be the first thing that you would do to empower your community? So they would have the same privileges as you and you both say you have. It's the same in any human rights movement. You have to kill the stigma. I agree. You have to knock down what creates the, that difference, that alienation. It should, it should that thing that makes them view you as not human, as different than they are. To create yourself and you, this gentleman here as a part of normality, correct? Yeah, as just fuck people. So what do you do for... So what do you do to... Help the one that you're talking about. You kill you the stigma. Think. You do what... Well, then how do you do when that? It comes, That's what when, I'm asking. When it comes up, I knock it down. Well, okay. how do you do that? That's what I'm saying. Like, What, what, what do you do? When somebody says there's something that's transphobic, I pose to them a question <laughs> that gets them to rethink their stance. So can I ask you guys a question? Because yes. this is... I love this. It got intense. Thank you I'm for sorry. This. <laughs> I, I love this, and I thank you for this. So what do you do for me? As a black gay man in the community, what do you do for me? How do you help me grow in this community where you guys have the privilege more than I do? And wait, 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 wait. before, wait, 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 who is gay, straight, I don't know, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call me, like that. Kind of bad. Since mm-hmm. we're getting on that train, did you have as Wait, a Muslim? Whoa! Hey, let, her finish, let her finish, oh, let her finish. Oh, I thought, I thought no, she was done. I'm, she's she's not done. When is she done? No, 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 stop. She's not done. Relating, Angel, and then I continue. Know. Yes, exactly. So how are you as two men who are two gay men who are both white, Across the table, and no, no Randy, do not do that. I can't help it. Do I can't help that. it because when you're you roll not, your eyes, I rolled my roll eyes for a reason. Did you, why did you roll your eyes? I rolled my eyes because you are not disadvantaged as a black man anymore. I would never. Anymore. Oh my god! No. I, oh my god! There, it still exists. No, but I will. I will say this from a specific Be, standpoint. Hmm. No. No, you can't say that. I can say no, that. No, you did, but because you can say it, but it's I. different than anyone else is adding it. You don't get what I, where I was going. Y'all don't get where I was oh, going. Well, then take me there. I will take you there when he comes back. When he comes back. When he comes back, I'll take you there. Because Joel has left. I, Joel has left the building. He's left the table. He's going to come back, and I'm going to explain and myself. A kind of if he'll maybe come back. Misinterpreted in- what was said there. I think no, all of us misinterpreted that. Yes, well, no, if you didn't, if you didn't go where no, you were, well, no problem. where we no think problem. you listen, went, then. no problem. Y'all don't, don't get where know. I was going. I was, I was heading the direction. You should go get him. Is- I'm not gonna go get him. I'm Are not. You go, you go to the bathroom? No, he went to the bathroom. I don't know. Apparently. I did not say the wrong thing. No. I don't think you said the wrong thing, but... Joe. Have to keep Joe. I, wow, okay. I mean, I, I've <laughs> never been one to say what another person... Okay, you know what? ...does I'm, or doesn't 
struggle. Joe, with I, I, I'm going to have to to tackle. I can't believe I'm going to have to have this conversation, but I'm going to have to have this conversation. No. And this is the most ridiculous conversation that I could possibly ever have with the fact that are you serious? Yes. I and don't have any struggles or anything else as a black gay man. No, no I do not. I did not struggles. say that. I did not say as a black gay man. Well, I said what I said mm-hmm. was struggles with. Where is he going? Okay, can we get back to the conversation? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Let's not get. Your struggle isn't any worse than the struggle of gay people at all. That's what I'm saying. I, but he takes on a whole different other struggle on top of being gay. Being African American is no easier now. Just because to you and I, two open minded people who no longer see a, a line between black and white people, there are still people I don't, who draw that line. Well, my, there thing are is, my thing still is my thing is this. My thing is this and that's where I'm coming from, is that as a gay man, he's no different as in a your, black gay man in your eyes. than anybody else. In your eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let no, me, that's, let that's me, what I'm saying. Let me talk, that's what I'm saying. Eyes, let me say something. No, no, in no. In the eyes of other no, people, he's sweetheart. not seen What I'm like saying is seen. this. What I'm saying is this. Hate is hate is hate. And because he's a black man... Doesn't mean that he gets more hate or it does. less hate. It's a shitty fact oh in our society. Okay. No, 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 no. You know, absolutely does. Right. Hey, I'm hate hate thinking this hate. right now, and I'm going to raise my voice a little bit, which is something I don't do because mm. I'm a fucking lady. Oh my God. I'm so Did you say you're a fucking lady? I'm a fucking lady, okay? I fuck boys sometimes. He starts late in the gate, no matter what he do. It, Look at him. There's he a lot of translation with, there, but. Yes. He starts late in the gate. Only because like that, we're yeah. at a disadvantage. Right? No, I agree. Hey, I agree no, with no, no, that. No, 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 no. I don't want anybody Cultural. talk right now. I don't want anybody Cultural talk right now when I'm talking. Right. It's a shitty they fact start that, up like that exists. I start like that too. Coming to America, being a Muslim, being a woman, same Having shit. Having an accent. Yeah, I sound like, I sound, well, sound some like people fight. <laughs> you're sexy. Marbles in your mouth. I love you. <laughs> but Dion, it's not you thing. don't understand. He go through so much like that. So much like that. And for you to say, one thing that makes me so fucking angry, it makes me so angry, is whenever anybody say, I don't see color, that pisses me off more than fucking anything. The reason why it, no, 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 I didn't say you said it. Let me finish what I'm saying. It's because I don't want you to look at me neutral. Acknowledge I'm different from you, and that's okay. Don't make, don't be colorblind to me. Don't, like Definitely. him, don't be like that. I'm not saying you're doing it. But I'm just saying, generally speaking, like that. Like, he already got one foot in the hole already. You, you have advantage. Can I say this? I, Randy, how many conversations have we had where I've told you stories about how white gay men have looked at me differently, have said the most horrific things to me that they could... I'm not going to say horrific, and I should. But shit, they don't have any right to say. No, I'm not. I should stop saying that. I'm not going to say horrific, but I'm going to say I'm going to say this, and this is honest to God truth. And I don't understand why you don't understand this. You've known me for God knows how long. You've known me for thirty years. You know that white gay men talk to me differently than they talk to you, and you know this. That's true. You do no, know that this. is true. That is true, and you're right, especially when. Mm. And I, I think and we hate it. Wrong. And, and through your eyes, you don't see him. You know what? I tell you something. I have had peanuts for lunch, but I anyway. Swear I thought you had peanuts. <laughs> I thought you had peanuts is, for lunch. Is, is, no, the truth is, the truth is this. Was. The truth is this. And sound checking. Here's the thing. You know, you know what our show is based here. on? It's based on breaking down all the shit that gay yeah. men go through. Racism, sexism, all that other stuff. And that our show is dedicated to breaking down. But here's the thing that I have never gotten to do on this show. And this is honest. 
I've never got to understand, get you to understand that it is different for me as a black gay man. It is completely different for me as and a black gay the, man. Tr- and the I truth thought is, that when I came out as a gay man, when I thought I came out as a gay man, that I would be 100% accepted by the gay culture. Turns out, no, it, it's not. But No, I, it's not. And, and the truth is, I don't understand why anybody would be that way. Mm. That's my world. That's mm. the world I live in. I don't understand why anybody could be that way. And so mm-hmm. that's that's what I'm saying. And see, that's the problem. And, so, and, and that, is, and that is the it. problem. Yes, because I just that, that is the problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. But hold on. Randy, that is the problem. What is time, you guys? Because this is the problem. Yeah, shit. exactly. Okay, but right. Randy, that is the problem. When I've tried to talk to you about that stuff, you look at me and say, oh, that can't be how it is. It can't be. But it is. And when I tell you that, you don't yeah. acknowledge the fact that it is. Yeah. And that kind of pisses now, me can off. I, can I can I pose that's an not the world. To you? That's mm-hmm. not and the world you look at me I live in. And you see yeah, I know it is the privilege. world I live in, but it's not the and world I, I want to live got, in. And I've got it easy that's what because I'm saying. I don't that's have what I'm saying. the disadvantage that you have. Did you have two parents growing up? Yes I did. Were they addicts? No, they weren't. Did they Love you and nourish you. Oh, my parents were terrible parents, but I love my parents. But you had a safe roof over your head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I had, think a, all I, I had a little shitty. Mm-hmm. A, I had a father. <laughs> I had a legitimate bedwetting problem after my parents divorced. Mm-hmm. And at eleven years old, my dad made me wear a diaper around mm-hmm. the house. Mm-hmm. Oh my my stepmother put garbage on my pillow. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and, and it's it's just a whole other level of things. And, and the the real moral to take away from that is that you don't have any fucking idea. And none of you out there have any fucking idea what kind of struggle anyone sitting next to you mm-hmm. has by looking them yeah, exactly. in the fucking face. Mm-hmm. And don't exactly. think that you've got a clue unless you got permission from them to know their story yeah, exactly. that you yeah. know their story. And yeah. I will say that to you. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that you don't have it harder. And, and I'm not saying that I have it harder, but I'm saying I had it different. Mm-hmm. And I will say that it was not any easier mm-hmm. because I, mean, I finished high school sleeping on my friend's couch in his jamming garage mm-hmm. because my stepmom didn't want me to live at home anymore. Mm-hmm. I think that we, everybody have struggled. Everybody have struggled. Yeah, yeah, and you have no idea what they are. are. But you, 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 imagine like this. You apply to a job. You look at resume, look at name, or you just look at picture. Who do you think gonna pick first, me or him, or you three? Straight up, don't lie. Well, if I I've got a big queer tie on and a big queer suit, and <laughs> it I, doesn't matter. But do you oh, know what I'm I am I'm saying that yeah. I I get faced you with know. that being a fucking homosexual, you know. working in construction. <clears throat> Being, being a Nancy boy. You missed can I can I say this? Are they going to pick me or are they going to pick you? Because you're a your girl with a buzz cut. You're obviously more butch than I am. No. I'm a boy who wears high heels. Can I say this to what? both? Can I say this to you? No. Do you know how many interviews I've walked daughter. into where my name is Joel? Do you know how many interviews I've walked into where they're like, wait, you're Joel? Yes, I'm Joel. And that look of surprise on their face. And I actually had one interview going, wait, I thought your name was, you look like a Jamal or this and that. But <laughs> right. No, my name is Joel. I've been on hiring crews that yeah. do that. I have, I, I'm not saying that my struggle is harder. I'm just, I just want you guys to understand no, like you know. that I know. as a gay person, when I came out as a gay man, I thought my struggle would be simpler i thought that as a gay man that i wouldn't have to worry about all that stuff because as a gay man i i already have to deal with a lot but i didn't realize i didn't realize that as a gay black man i'd have to go through a lot more again again and i'm like oh my god i have to deal with what randy meets a guy they hook up randy has 
a story to tell about that guy. And it's a simple story. And My story usually ends up with, hey, Ebony Prince or hot chocolate or this and that. And I'm like, are you serious? Right. No, I don't like hot. Are, are We've you talked serious? About this. We've okay, talked about on. this. The whole hot chocolate. I know. Everybody Are friends. you serious? And I'm like, seriously. Oh, that's that's so just disturbing. I think. <laughs> I think when it comes to, and I, 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 I say this not just to Randy, but I also say this to get your hand off my White. leg. I also say this to David Guys. White. My struggle is a little bit more harder because I. Went into a community that I thought would accept me 100%. And then I realized that as a black guy, there were certain expectations that I was supposed to have as a black guy in the gay community. I'm a big dick and nothing more. And I'm not, I, I don't have a brain. I'm not smart. I'm not this and that. But I just have happen to have a big dick. And people don't and that's it. smart. Or that I have any value other than being Whoa. a houseboy or we a big dancer or but you guys, face. but you, between you and Randy, you get to have that privilege. What I don't privilege? get to have that privilege. I don't get to have that privilege. They think the same thing of me. Why? Because of... because I'm just a device. I'm a houseboy. I'm not their partner. I'm not their equal. That's you as a twink. And that girl, you grew I'm out of that. I'm not even a twink. That's a label that somebody else puts on me. Yeah, that you not grew out I of that. Identify. You grew out of that quite quickly. I'm in my 30s. I'm still black no matter what. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to be young good a, looking. No matter, no matter what. I think that was probably one of the most boldest statements Sing? you said. I'm black no matter fucking what. I'm, I'm black, black no matter fucking what. No this, matter this, what. I can't wash it off. I can change and it. And I can wash it, mine off? You think because I'm going to age that I'm suddenly going to... Oh, no, you're still going to be the hot... You're still going to be the hot oh, oh. white guy. You're right. still going to be the hot white guy. Not the hot white guy. I didn't say the smart yeah, white guy. I said the hot white guy. Thank you. And thank, thank, you. And thank you for that. But you get... I, I am smart. But you get... We're all talking. Guys, you get the privilege. You get the privilege of... the same time. Because of who you are... You get the privilege of being able to change and be able to grow and everything else. What? When I change and grow, I'm still the black guy. That is you saying the same thing to me that he just said to you. Yeah. You're thinking that you know that your struggle is more than mine is. Oh, And that's God. wrong. You just oh said not to do that. Oh, my Yo, God. Go really? no. me. He oh literally me. just said my struggle is a little bit more. He no. is more than yours. Really? A million thousand percent. Really? Yes, babe. Yeah. Yeah, what do you know about so, my struggle? Well, what do you know about me? Yeah, Tell me about yeah. it then. Tell me. Oh, no, I'm asking you. You already know. This isn't babe? Jesus Christ. Are you We're really the Lord. Lord. Is the Lord. Pinky, I love you. Like, I love yes. you a million I love you thousand. Too, but what? I swear. He I'm not saying that he have doesn't have it different. I'm not. We're, I'm not downplaying or cheapening <laughs> the struggle that he has. Right. But he had it. Advantage okay, let me let me let me just ask one question. What did you have to go to college? I went to college, okay. but guess I what? I didn't get to go to college. Guess what? Because I went to college, and you're a white guy, you still have a more advantage than I do. That's because not you true. happen to be. Yeah. A, that is one hundred percent true. Oh my, oh my god, baby. Okay, okay. we'll go fill out You know what? You know what? This weekend. And baby, guess what? Maybe guess what? Reasons. You'll get baby, hired before we're gonna go I shoe do. shopping they won't tomorrow. Even, they won't apparently, even yours me. are too tight. They won't this even. Reason, they won't even call me back. I mean, because what, of, of what I look like on paper. Oh they won't even God. call me back, and they'll call you. And back. this is what I have to deal with. The most part, you're right. This is what are I have to deal with. Are you dealing with something different than what I'm? No, but this is what I have to deal with. In so I'm having to deal with the same thing. You're not dealing with the same thing right now at this table. I am. Everyone deals with their own demons. You are not really? dealing with the are same you, thing. I, I, like, you really think that your struggle can right. compare to We his. need to move on to another who subject. Who is anyone to compare their struggle to something? All right, um, all right, let's move well, on to the to next subject. subject. I just think that part of it is uh, wrong. Next subject. I, just, all right. uh, I, just think I don't think there should be a comparison. Ask a breeder. <laughs> I just don't. Right. Hurting is hurting. Being put down is being put down. Being no, devalued the new is being subject devalued. is ask a breeder. If only we'd have gotten the first show. Ask a breeder. It is ask not a ask a breeder. No. It is not ask a breeder. Ask the breeder straight. I, it's you know what? Ask Here's a the thing. Guy. Here's the thing. I think we need to take a break. 
I think we need to take a break I because it it's might getting be close to heated. 86. Yeah, I think we need to take a break. It might because, be close to 86. Because, yeah, we yeah, really need to take yeah. a break. We need to take a break. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe. Let's I might have to bum off. Ready? Yes, sir. Hey, we're we're bringing this in, and guess what? You and I are gonna start talking about this. This, yeah. We got a little heated on the mm-hmm. on the second half there, mm-hmm. and so we have we have kindly asked. That the rest of the panel mm-hmm. give us the the third yeah half exactly because to, to kind of mm-hmm. to to you know mm-hmm. try at least yeah, to exactly. get on the same page exactly so here's the thing how do we as gay men try to figure out how we do things better because as as far as what we've done, we've not done a good deal, and when we look at it from from my point of view, how do we do this right? I, well, I if would like about to humanity and, and no, I would like to talk about the fact that the talk the fact about the fact. That we have not done this right when it comes to the LGBT. Okay, we have done great when it, it's us as gay men. Correct. But when it comes to everybody in our community, there, how still, do we do that? There's still progress to be made. There always is. Mm-hmm. It's not over until it's over. Mm-hmm. You know, the great thing about that is there is a, a no, whole another generation. Mm-hmm that can be the change that's mm-hmm. needed. But in order to do that, it has to start somewhere. Change is not an easy thing. Change is not something that happens calmly. Mm-hmm. Change is not something that is brought on by tranquility. Change is brought on by a problem. Change is brought on by... No, well, it's, it's the thing... How do you bring the idea of my my group of people to make that a thing where we start to understand that all stuff that we said that wasn't a thing? Right. Well, okay. From my perspective, I guess the question I would pose to you is who do you feel are your people? When you say that, who are you addressing? Who are you Including well, in that here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, when we talk about the, when we talk about the whole idea of our transgender transgender community, right. how do we help them do their thing? Well, the same way that we've come to be able to do our thing. Mm-hmm. We humanize. We oh no, we yeah, really is that the thing that we do? No, no, and that's why. Mm-hmm. That's why progress is halted. Because we suddenly got a little, you know, us as gay men and gay women mm-hmm. got the taste of acceptance mm-hmm. and forgot that we weren't the only ones involved mm-hmm. in that. And stopped pressing forward and stopped saying you're not going to exclude us. You're not going to keep us out. You're not going mm. to give us subhuman treatment. We are people just like Yeah, you but here's the thing. How do you get the heterosexual community and the gay community to do the whole transgender thing? And that is a thing. Right. And that needs to be something that we need to talk about. I agree. But we can only start with our community. Mm-hmm. And how we treat them one person at a time. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it happens, you know, it happens slow. Mm-hmm. Change for gay men and gay women being mm-hmm. accepted in society didn't happen overnight. Yes, but how do we do it? How do we The same make way that... that we did it for us. We just proved that we aren't any different. Mm-hmm. 
And how can we possibly expect straight people to accept a group of people that we as gays mm-hmm. had we ostracized have, from our community? By the way, we had to ask straight people and gay people to do the whole thing when it comes to the transgender community. Except we haven't held up our end of the bargain. No, we have not. We have not held up our end of the bargain. So how do we get the... We quit perpetuating societal norms and these standards Mm -hmm. that people are supposed to live their lives in a certain way Mm -hmm. and understand that it's not just who you sleep with Mm -hmm. that doesn't have an effect on another person. You know, we we bring about this argument in gay marriage of like, why does me being married to a man affect another married Mm -hmm. couple? It doesn't. Yes, but as as, a trans person being trans doesn't affect anyone else's How do we get gay men and Transgender people we and tolerating, and not transgender people, but also straight people. Understand something that being trans is a part of who we are. How do we get them to understand that and be a part of the community? By by being that, by showing that, by living that, by being the part of that message. By no longer even overhearing somebody say something Mm -hmm. that we know to be transphobic or anti-trans or derogatory towards trans. Even if you overhear it because it's the right thing to do. But why? Why Why don't we look at the idea of being sexual and everything else? Because the idea of being sexual should be of of the whole thing. It should be, but in that sense, gay is not right either. How do we how how do we make the transgender community the part of being sexual in that that I don't I don't think that sexualizing it is is the solution. I think that identifying every single person as their own minority because we've we've done these we've used yes, these tactics, but... these ways that we create cliques and mm. these groups of people and you fit into this group or you fit into that group, the only way to eliminate that kind of Mm-hmm. of segregation, be it, you know, law enforced or not, be it ju- judicially backed by the government and any, you know, the executive, judiciary, le- legislative branch of government. But we've done that for gay men. So how do you make that a part Break of transgender? Down. Break down the walls between all of our communities mm-hmm. and understand that each person is a minority of one. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. part of me fits in your group. Part mm-hmm. of me fits in your group. You know what? There's a part of me that I don't identify that mm-hmm. fits in your group. So I don't I don't like being called a twin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fit a lot of the criteria, but I that's not how I identify. Is it fair for somebody to call me a twin then? I mean, if a person doesn't identify by a label that somebody else puts on them, mm-hmm. is it okay to still label them that? Yes, but to put transgender people on that, level how do we do that by just referring to them as people mm. by placing no importance on the fact that they're by the trans. way to do that really is that what you're gonna do I, it's what other logical solution can you bring to the table when uh well the logical solution would be sexual and that is what but what we, sexually I, I don't understand well if you're going to be bringing transgender onto the table, you have to do it sexually. But I don't understand what you mean. Do what what sexually? Well, Like you have to give them all free sex changes? Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, that that comes with government-funded health care. At the same time, to make transgender on, on the same level of heterosexual and gay on on the same token, we're not really... Come on. I would, I would on the same token. The lack of appreciation that I've seen for how the community has been accepted by this city mm-hmm. and the response to us being Houston mm-hmm. now instead of just this small community of Montrose. Well I don't I don't think that that it's des- I, I don't think that we deserve to mm-hmm. be a part of that. Mm-hmm. We because so how do, we, how do we make 
how do we make the idea of how do we make, make the idea of transsexuality on both ends on both ends to relate it on both ends where it's straight and gay the same as the same as you come out to a toddler mhm you know i've had time and again people have said it on the show oh well you know i don't know my they're super young mm-hmm. and they know me as this and they don't get that and mm-hmm. i don't want to make it a big deal it's like don't make it a big deal mm-hmm. everyone needs to quit making it a big deal mm-hmm. yes the the atrocities that have been dealt to mm-hmm. that community are are not any less significant they're mm-hmm. they're terrible and they are awful fucking things mm-hmm. and i'm not saying that they are not important i'm saying that we need to quit paying attention or I'm, quit placing so much importance on how we're all different no i would like to say that i would like the idea of as someone who is trans how do you make that a thing make what when you meet someone kind of who is who is gay or straight if you are straight or gay, how do you make the idea of trans an acceptable idea on both sides? Because, Time. by the way, by the way, I'm I'm okay with being being a gay man, but if I met a gay man who is that who looks like a man but has a vagina, and I'm like trying to figure out how to do that. How do I make the whole thing work? Do you do you let that stop you pursuing them as a person and taking interest in them as a person? But as as someone who's trans, can you be part of the conversation? That is the entire premise that being trans is based upon. Mm-hmm. The fact that they are a gay man or a gay woman or a straight woman, or a straight man on the inside. Mm-hmm. And they have been dealt the crazy difficult hand mm-hmm. of having to Can I ask you a question? something that nobody will Can I ask you a question? Are, as a gay man, are you okay with being with someone who is trans? I, I would be. I wouldn't be. Well, and, that, and that's, it's a, it's a thing. It's, it's less exposure. It's, it's the same as a, you know, somebody from a generation before yours mm. thinking about, oh, well, even if I had per- feelings for that man, as a man, I can't be with that man. Mm. So it's I'm, a- same thing. I'm asking, is it okay for, or not, not as, do we have to take it into account no. for the whole, I, I am all about a guy with a dick. So yep. if what I what and, I say, and it's not for you as long as you're honest with that person. Mm-hmm. It's and, impossible and, that and it you, can be done. And you respect them enough to say, "I really dig you as a yes, person, but, but I'm not there." Yes, that's not for is me. It's the same okay. as it's the same as me turning down skinny guys. It's like you know, you're a really handsome guy, mm-hmm. you're a really nice guy, you're a really charming guy, mm-hmm. but that's not for me. I don't so, do that. Is it okay for me to tell a person who's trans who I meet and everything else, hey, um, I'm sorry, but I need you to have a dick. If you say it like that, uh, but if, a little if that trans person but... also tells me that I can't do that, I'm like, well, right. I mean, what if they thought you were trans mm-hmm. and it just never came up in conversation? And they just went along thinking you were trans because they thought so you were trans. The and idea. it turned out you weren't. And they're like, oh, well, I can't be with you because I thought you were trans. So is it okay to be gay and say, no, I I yeah. would really like to be with someone who is gay? Is it okay to be straight and say, I need to be with somebody who's straight? Is, is it okay to be gay? And- is it okay for me to me to say, hey, no, I'm not. Look at you. The same as it is for a straight guy to turn down a gay guy. 
But how do we do that? Politely, and courteously, treat them like people. The same way you would a straight guy. If I met someone who is okay with being who they are and they're trans, how do I say I'm not interested, but... Well, there is no but. I mean, either at that point, you've put the ball in their court. Mm-hmm. If you're not interested, and they're not interested in being your friend, without then that's being, on them. Without being that guy. It, but that's their insensitivity to mm-hmm. the culture shock. I think there is just as much. So as- it's okay to be gay without without worrying about. Yeah, you don't have to date trans people just because you're gay. You're, mm-hmm. Just because you're part of the LGBT community doesn't mean you have to be open to dating any one of those. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe that at all. And I, I think that them or anyone who was trans responding to that kind of respect, and as long as you do it in a respectful way, not like, ew, you're trans, gross, I can't deal with you. I That's wouldn't... Dis- No, I know. But there are people who would handle it that way. Mm-hmm. But as a trans person, I think they have just as much responsibility to not, to understand that you were respectful of them enough to come to them, be honest, be respectful, not react like that. Whether that's how you may have felt or not. Because there are things that gross people out. Like super crazy skinny guys kind of gross me out a little. I don't want to see your whole rib cage. I don't want to see your whole skeletal structure. I think it's kind of well, gross. I, I really would like to understand. How do we as gay men figure out Treat them like how, to, how to be with someone who is a gay man? And when we're not with Remember someone. Remember what it was like when people treated you like and, a gay man. And we had to go, oh. Wait, that's how do we? How do I do that? We really didn't. Have, you expected it of people to accept you. How do we? How do we? How are we able to? do They're that? expecting the same thing. Mm-hmm. So how did you expect straight people or anyone else to accept you? Well, it's not that did, it is. How it's, did you expect them to accept you? Mm-hmm. That's different. Well, how did you suppose they did it? Yeah, exactly. But at the same time. I mean, is there anything wrong with me, with me being a straight? Is there anything wrong with me being a gay man? I'm expecting to look to another gay man. And that's what I was looking for. And you are trans and you are doing your thing. I don't know how to do that. I do not know how to do that. And. and and that's okay. If it's not, I mean, the only thing you could possibly by, be doing by gently going through that and, like, not saying what you're feeling and not, you're not being respectful and you're wasting their time and you're, you are making a I snowball out okay. of something that could be respectful and yeah. an amicable break yeah. and a I, bridge that starts, those are the bridges that mm. we're not building as a community. We're not being respectful to trans people. Mm-hmm. We're saying, ew, gross, you look like a boy. What? Yes, You're but a phony, gross, I can't do that. Instead I, of being, oh, you're a person, you're, you're, yes. I don't want to do that. I respect you enough to say that you are a man. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that to trans community. But I also want to say that, hey, I'm a gay guy. Mm-hmm. I like a gay guy who has. And nobody's asking you to like. Anything you don't like. It's yeah, the same exactly. as me not liking girls or you not liking girls. Yeah, exactly. So would we able to like to be able to say that? But, but what? But the problem is that what do I do as a LGBTQ? How do you turn down guys you're not attracted to? Or how am I able to say, hey, I'm not able to do if that? If you meet a guy and you're not attracted to him. Mm-hmm. How do you tell him? I would like to be able to say, hey, I'm not doing that. I would like right, to be able to say that. Them, not, I mean, but don't make not it a trans doing, thing. But not doing in the way that it makes them feel right. terrible about who they are. Rejection sucks, mm-hmm. regardless of how it gets done. It never feels good to be rejected. So, just don't be shitty about it. 
The same way that you wouldn't want somebody to be shitty if they rejected you. Mm -hmm. And you would want someone and to this, respect you. And by the way, this is going to be a show later because I'm tired of doing that. And, I'm and really tired of doing it that. It starts with that. us recognizing that, you know, for a time there, it was funny. For a time there, mm -hmm. it was it was a, a fad. It was a thing. And, and now, you know, we have to look back on all of the civil rights progress we've made and understand that we mm -hmm. are the Hulk. Straight people are no longer the problem. We have abandoned <clears throat> them and left them to the wolves. Mm -hmm. And that we need to, we are as, our, as a pack, go back and, and pick at, them up and say, you're not going to fuck with our then, people. Now we're the straight guys who have to look at everything in, in that thing. And now we have to do that. Yep. And we just have to accept it. Because it's a thing. It's not going away. It's not a fad. I know. It's not overalls. It's not yo yo I know. Not Tamagotchi. These are people who, you know, we have built our entire equal rights platform off of saying people are people, mm -hmm. and if they are a person, they deserve to be treated like a person, mm -hmm. regardless of who they love, regardless of what color their skin is, regardless of what religion they practice. In this country, if they're a person, regardless of how many eyes they have, regardless of how many fingers they have, regardless of how many teeth they have, how many ears they have, what color their hair is, how long their hair is, mm -hmm. they are to be treated like a person. Mm -hmm. It's not like calling somebody a bozo. There's not a, a, a section of people who are bozos who are offended by that. But calling somebody a tranny and it being shitty and being an insult, and, and a, it is now a slur mm -hmm. because there is actually a community that you are using the identifying marker or name of to express that somebody is less mm -hmm. or somebody is inferior or somebody is undeserving or somebody is inferior. And, you know, at the very basis of it, you, um, the United States of America is what gets stamped on your passport. And you either stand behind that as an American and understand what kind of responsibility comes with that as an American. And then there's even more responsibility because you're part of an LGBT community. Mm -hmm. You're part of a movement that has conquered so much mm -hmm. and, and survived an epidemic that well could have claimed the community. Okay. You know, I got to go. <laughs> it's just that's the only way to do it is to just not make it a thing mm -hmm. treat them like people because they are people mm -hmm. and that's I'm, the way that I'm I gonna, see it I'm gonna go to sleep I'm done fair enough y'all this is Joel and Pinky mm -hmm. signing off extinguishing the fiery back and forth uh, of the second half and, mm -hmm. and coming to terms with we are part of one community mm -hmm. like all of you are and we are all people and if you're ever unsure on how to go about a situation okay. fall back on if it's a person treat them like a person and if you're not sure where to start there mm -hmm. understand that you're a person and Think of how you would want to be treated in that situation. Think of a time where somebody might have handled it in a different way and how you felt about that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the whole golden rule wrapped all up in that. Treat yeah. others how you want to be treated. But it's, it's more than that. Treat others how they deserve to be treated mm -hmm. because they're people. Mm -hmm. They're not aliens, you know, from outer space who... Who knows? Don't even necessarily then deserve less than your respect.
until they show that they have ill intent, what reason do you have to encroach on, on their whatever? <laughs> Just the same as, as nobody has the right to encroach on a trans person because they're not forcing themselves on you. It, I will be a person to say that there are times in your life that you just want to be invisible. You don't want to stick out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be called out. You just want to be like everybody else and be accepted like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Because we're all just fucking people. Yeah. So, I will say, if you ain't going to be good, be good at it. And Joel is going to knock us off the clock. That's true. Good night, Houston. You all have good times. Put out good vibes. People like people. Mm -hmm. And only treat people mm -hmm. like people. Ever. Mm -hmm. But always treat your dogs better. Yep. They deserve it. <laughs> they do. <they> <laughs>